Hello, and welcome once again to another episode of Third Action. I'm your lovely host, Jason, and these are our same three saboteurs that were here last week. In the bottom left, we have Asher Ford, Human Ranger, played by Char. Hi, I have Kennedy on my lap. You can't see. These are his ears. <laughs> <laughs> you have been blessed this night by the, the ears of the Kennedy. Uh, the in the bottom middle, we have Grishy, Iron Root, Dwarf, and Druid, played by Will. I do like to get Kennedy ears when I go to the carnival. <laughs> is, is that a food or a, a type of mask? <laughs> or Kaylin Olastos, you wear it, and then once you're done wearing it, eat it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and in the bottom right, we have Gun Show, Human Champion of a Rastal, played by Adam. Evening, everybody. That... I don't even know where to go with that. That was <laughs> surreal, Will. <laughs> well, dog, are they the dog Kennedy or the president? Well, the president has a hat. I, I like how that's where you went with that. <laughs> the Resident Evil character. Come on. That's what Kennedy's name. Is. Oh. <laughs> My favorite. Nobody cares about the Kennedys anymore. Mask, ears, head, uh, eat. I don't know. <laughs> like, you right. went someplace strange. I was making a pun on elephant ears versus Kennedy ears that turned into wearing them for some reason. Yes. Well, Kennedy. Yeah. If you're watching this I guess live so. or, or on the recording, you can see beautiful Kennedy in his Aww. majestic, so old. fluffy <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Those expression. <laughs> his eyes are very fluffy. His eyes are very fluffy. Look at all this hair. He has so much hair. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, so last time on Third Action, speaking of eating things or ears or people, uh, <laughs> a group of intrepid adventurers uh, began their assault on uh, Shalaria, the giant stronghold um, uh, atop the northwestern cliffs of Zinshalast. Uh, as it began to be surrounded by giant enemies, uh, fighting broke out in the streets. Gun managed to uh, assist some of your allied giants uh, a bit in the initial scuffles, uh, and then flew up to uh, join his compatriots, who were in the process of blowing up the outer walls of the building. Uh, with the outer walls taken down, uh, you found that you had awoken the uh, very, very pissed off uh, dragon Glorifex, uh, who very badly wants his revenge. Um, and yeah, after what I think six rounds of combat, I believe is where we are picking up this evening. So let me go ahead and get us back to here. Um, I'm gonna go and put the battle music on. Here's uh, not the right map, activate. Look at all those giants. I don't have any token of vision in this scene. Why? You don't have any token vision. That's weird. One sec. <laughs> <laughs> Let me set that. I back mean, I see Glorifex just fine. <laughs> why? Why did my stream camera think that? Restore Those pages. Privileges or something. There we go. Okay. I think it's fixed. Uh, let me... Yes. All right. It's fixed. Back. Back to battle. Okay. Um, so, let's see. We've got our... I'll pop the initiative tracker back out. Uh, we got a lot of creatures here in initiative. Um, so, you know what I should have done? I should have probably updated these walls to be broken uh, <laughs> in the week gap, but I forgot. Um, so, uh, you've got these northern walls here that have all been broken down. Uh, this uh, part of this eastern wall has been broken down as well. All that remains here is this one tower. Two giants, uh, two troops of giants, stone giants, are atop it. Um, they are currently battling with Gun and Rock, who have flown up uh, against it. Um, the tower itself is about 60 feet tall. Uh, down on the ground level in the kind of gateway area, uh, there is one cloud giant troop. Uh, let me put them just 
Uh, they are right behind our, our wondrous Grushy Iron Root, uh, who had just unleashed a, a necromantic spell draining all the giants around. Uh, there's one giant troop down on the ground level. Uh, there's another frost giant troop just ahead, also on the ground level. Mr. Glorifex is flying about 100 feet in the air. Asher is in the north, uh, kind of floating just over some of the um, chunks of wall. I've removed the uh, exterior walls for two of these buildings um, because the dragon is currently flying higher than them, so Asher can see. Um, the interiors of those buildings is not important to us at the moment, and probably won't be. Uh, otherwise, there are two rune giants uh, in the back, behind Glorifex, in kind of the center of the courtyard. And yeah. All right, I think that's enough catching up. So, we begin. It starts. <laughs> Uh, Glorifex is up first, followed by a Frost Giant Troop, then Greshi, then uh, two of the Stone Giant Troops, a Cloud Giant Troop, a Rune Giant, then Gun, then Friar Giant Troop, then Asher, then Stone Giant Troop, then a, then a Rune Giant. Um, but some of these things are in the process of fleeing the battlefield, so uh, Glorifex is up first. Uh, Greshi, you had just unleashed a, a massive spell uh, that Glorifex seemed to just fully resist. I believe he got a critical success mm -hmm. on his saving throw, um, and the spell just uh, kind of glanced off of his scales. Um, he flaps his wings uh, menacingly and is going to... Uh, uh, you fools, I will show you what a dragon can do. Uh, and he is going to begin casting a spell. Uh, I'd like to try and recognize what spell that is. Okay, go ahead and give me an arcana check, right? Sure, well, there we are. Secrets. Uh, yeah, secret. She just said secret, secret, secret uh, spell. Blind every let time. Get a, let me get a distance check on him. Uh, sure, you're... Looks like he is within 60 feet. I'll just have to delete that content, that template that I accidentally made. Uh, yeah, he is within 60 feet of you. Uh, um, spell level of the spell is useful to know. You got a that number. The spell itself uh, is this level of spell. Okay, um, Greshi, you would know the spell that he cast is Disappearance. So oh, this shit again. Put it in the chat. <laughs> Gun is going to... Uh, this fucking shit. Attempt to react with a interrupt conjuration, even though it, he doesn't know what it is. But I okay. guess that just means there's no yeah, reaction from... It just wouldn't work. Happens. Yeah, you, you uh, quickly like try to uh, swing, point your sword in uh, its direction, um, but the no spell or no uh, counteraction goes off from Remedy. Um, the dragon disappears from view. Uh-huh. And let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to move it without moving the camera. Uh -huh. Okay. The dragon, uh, it kind of disappears into the falling snow uh, as it like flaps backwards um, and you all lose sight of it entirely. The uh, nearby frost giant troop uh, is going to... I don't think they can fly, so they are going to... Hmm.
they're going to kind of... They'll just charge forward a bit and stand right in front of this rubble uh, and hold their position. Uh, they're all kind of raising their whatever weapon they use. Uh, what do these guys use? These are the great axes. So they all uh, ready their great axes in the defensive position, ready to swing at anybody who comes near them. Greshi, it is your turn. Well, shit. Um... Okay, so he's disappeared on us. You are, I think, out of range. Actually, you're... Well, no, you are. Just barely. All right. Um, we're going to be selfish again then, and Greshi's going to start flying up and away a little further. Ten. So he's going to get himself up to about 80 feet up and a little bit diagonal as well while he's at it. Away from those uh, flying giants as he casts uh, Regenerate on himself so that he can start bucking up some of those wounds that he's taken. Okay. So he... Take that effect. I can drag it correctly. There we go. Um, but that will be three actions for him to try and get up and away. All right. Uh, the stone giants down here uh, are going to kind of... Uh, actually, they're going to delay um, since they don't know quite yet what to do, given that you're high up. Uh, actually, uh, sorry, that's stupid. They can still throw rocks at you. So they shall. Um, sure can. Uh, yeah, the stone giant troop that's on the ground there that remains, they are going to yeah hurl rocks at Greshi. I need a reflex save, please. Uh, 33 on that. That is, that is a success, so you'll take... Uh, why am I... Uh, I'm on self-roll. Uh, you will take half of 35. Uh, oh, right, I didn't so reveal 17. itself. That's weird. Oh, I did. Never mind. I just have my chat scroll. Bye. Uh, oh. Okay. The, Hi, and they will third action uh, kind of move. Uh, well, they, I think they'll just waste their third action because they don't have anywhere to go. Uh, this cloud giant troop behind you is going to fly up and closer. Um, which... Uh, I wish we still had the uh, one, one of the mods we had kept the like visuals of where you were at the start of your turn and this doesn't uh, let's see so this is just oh. 10 mm. feet across uh, and what are you you're 80 feet up I have I... The math uh, so they they only need to go five feet up to reach you. Uh, oh, they don't even. Uh, they'll still go up a little bit. We'll go up five feet. So we'll go to 70 while you're at 80. Uh, mm -hmm. And they will use their second two actions to do an onslaught. I need a... Uh... Oh, sh uh, whoop. Oh, yes, that was the rock there. Okay, sorry, I'm confused myself. Uh, yes, the cloud giants are going to attack you. Uh, reflex save, please. Uh, 34. 34, so. that's another like success. That. So they are going to do this. Uh, 29 points of mixed piercing and bludgeoning damage. Uh, you take half of that. Ow. <laughs> so 14 on that one. And uh, that leaves these stone giants up on the ramparts, uh, or on the, the remaining tower. Um, this set is going to uh, move to the opposite corner. Uh, they were in the top left corner of the tower, or northwest corner of the tower. They'll move down to the southeast, uh, so they can get a better line on gun and rock. Uh, and they are going to throw rocks at the two of you. I need both of you to make reflex saves. Okay. 
Yeah. Just looking for that for... Oh, wait, I can do that in... if I select the token. I can do that for Rock if I select his token. Yes. Okay. Rock has a 43. Gun has a... 39. Okay, uh, that is a crit success from Rock. Um, gun should have a minus two, which would still make that a success. But he also has a plus two. Oh, okay. He also has a plus right, two right. because of his bulwark. Okay, yep. so yeah, we're just not counseling, counting the bulwark for while you're mounted. Okay. Um, but that's still a success either way. Um, so you will take half that damage, so half of 32. And bludgeoning damage. So 16 points of bludgeoning damage from gun as Rock tries to out of curiosity, dodge out of the way. Mm -hmm. You have a reaction. I don't know if it applies in these situations, though. He just used his reaction to try to counter a spell. Oh, that's true. He did. Never mind. All right. That leaves the giants. Let's see. Okay. Rude that is giant a good call out, though. In the back. Uh, leave this to us, uh, it says, and it will begin charging forward. <sighs> It'll use its three actions to run forward, calling out to its companions. Um, Reinforce the stairs! Gun. Oh, choices. With, uh, with them there. Hmm. <clears throat> I have a couple of options in terms of spells to cast and uh, I think the first one to use um, I think the first things first is we're gonna we're gonna command rock uh, and we're gonna fly up and around to here. I don't know why that was saying that he needs three actions for that. That's going to be one of his actions to go. Oh, I think it's the like using the land speed by default for some and, reason. It's not yeah, using the land speed. Yeah, and also um, with a that was a 40 foot move, so we should be able to climb 15 feet at least, probably 20 if you try and get late stuff. Um, and still be at, yeah, 40 plus half of, or plus 20 up at half speed would be 80. But if we go diagonal, that's going to save at least 10 of that, right? Making um, it net of only about 50 feet of movement. Just, just do the, <laughs> just do the half, uh, like use the horizontal, then half the, the, the. Uh, well, All right. Well, in that case, we we go up. <laughs> we go up to seventy, so we're level with the uh, with the giants here, still below um, Greshi and Rock. Will go ahead and do a Talon's attack on these cloud giants that have attacked Greshi. Okay, so you've flown away from the so... the tower to the north uh, to kind of wrap around the cloud giants that are attacking Greshi. Uh, so you get behind them and go for a swing. Correct. Or Talon Strike. Uh, yep. He has a 43 to hit. Uh, 43 will crit. Good job, Rock. Ooh. We're 43 points of slashing damage. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's some sharp talons. Yeah, plus 43. 20. Oh, well, 60, 60, 6 plus 10. 20. Plus, oh, 10 plus 10. Plus 10. Yep. Plus. 10, yeah, plus 10 is his base from his strength and his magic claws. Okay. Nice. Yeah, is that true? Hmm. Okay. I will accept it for now, <laughs> and I can double check so. later. <laughs> I don't remember what the... Oh, this... Yeah, I don't, um, I don't know what the strength bonuses are and stuff. But yes. All right, 43 points of damage. You he has... yeah, fly, fly back around. Rock manages just to, like, slash across two of them. Um... I think that's strength and a half, 1.5 strength for six, and then four from 
from uh, the like just oh, it actually shows companions. Yeah, six pack. six from six from indomitable companion, four from strength, and then times two. Oh, okay. Um, yep. So and then now that he's got us in position, uh, we are going to cast. Uh, where did it go? From guns spell list, my favorite new spell. Sunburst. Uh, 500 foot of range on that sucker and 60 foot radius. And I think I've already used the circle template, but I'll, I think the general goal is going to be to put that right about here. Um, it should probably not catch anyone who's flying up quite high. Well, 60 foot burst, it would be the highest would be 60 and I'm already 80. Yeah, this so the like 70, Reshi and so. the Cloud Giants and probably the Giants that are on the wall These, won't be caught, uh, but both Rune Giants and the yeah. Stone Giants that are on the ground. Yeah, I think the, the Burst of Light probably, yeah, would, wouldn't, uh, would like, the tower would block the, the light from reaching the ones that are on top. So yes, I agree. Um, yeah. Both Rune okay. Giants and the ones that are on the ground need to make a uh, reflex save. Okay, the furthest away Rune Giant is a success with a 42. The centered rune giant is a success with a 43. Uh, uh, the frost giant shroot, that's uh, next closest creature, fails with a 31. The stone giant shroot that's on the ground behind the barricade that threw rocks at Grishy. Uh, oh. <laughs> get a natural 20 for a 42. Wow. Uh, critical success. Um, well, okay, and then what are the effects? Yeah. The full damage is uh, 52 mixed it's fire and light damage. Fire and light damage. Positive damage if it's undead. I, is that? It says. Yeah, light. how. What's the. Oh, I think you. Oh, you fire, pick. light, positive. It's it's light is the. Uh, is one of the um, tags it's on the it, but it's not actually yeah. a light. I see. There's no I light see. damage. It's fire and positive. positive. I see. Does but it's positive specifically against undead, fire I think. damage plus 8d10 additional to positive Walker. damage. So is that just the 8d10? Okay. That is just the 8d10. I, so, okay. Okay. None, none of these damage. creatures are, are negative. Okay, but that's all fire damage? Undead, so they won't take the positive. Okay, the burst of flames. That's all fire damage. There's th three tens. <laughs> Perfect. Um, okay, so that's 52 points of fire damage. The flames burst out. Um, the... So the frost giants are the ones who failed. So they'll take the full damage. And they are also weak to fire and AOE, so they'll take another 20. Whoop. Points of damage. That's 72 points of damage to the frost giants. The stone giants somehow critically succeeded, so they take nothing. Oh, they, uh, they're, they're right near a barricade, so they just kind of uh, drop down. Uh, flat as quick as they can. Um, the two rune giants, uh, they do initially kind of shield themselves um, from from the the burst of light and flame and heat. Um, but the uh, you, you watch as the flames just kind of roll off of them. Uh, their onyx black skin completely unfazed. Even though they got a success, they are not affected now, by the fire a... damage. Fair. There's a possibility that being right where it is, uh, right under where the dragon was before it disappeared, that if it hasn't moved, it might be... It was 100 feet up. Oh, it was 100 feet up? I was, yes, it was I thought higher it was up 60 than we were. Feet up. Okay. It was 100 feet up, but oh, well. regardless, uh, you, you, did, you don't hear or see any... I should have done this in air then. You don't hear or see any additional effects. So you, as far as you're aware, it, it did not hit the dragon, if the dragon is still there. Um, I should have put this in midair, but yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, well, that should be my turn. All right. The fire giants uh, that are all the way in the back. Um, Roger, we won't let them. Uh, we won't let those traitors, traitorous scum get up here. Uh, and this fire giant troop is basically just going to run uh, to the eastern, uh, sorry, the western stairs. Um, 
to make their way down and stop the invaders. Asher. So I'm just removing them from initiative. That's me. Unless you wish to give chase. All right, which well. Which can put them back. <laughs> I immediately <sighs> give chase. No, no. Um, <laughs> well, I learned last time I could see the dragon. Now I'm regretting not asking if I could see it. I mean, I, suppose I saw it disappear. Um, guys? Can you still hunt it? Is that what you're thinking? Mm, currently, no. I have to be able to see it or hear it or have been tracking it in order to hunt prey. So I could. I don't even know if seeking it would help with. I mean, you can series. seek it. If it's the same spell as before the disappearance spell, we were able to seek it by determining things like dust movement on the ground. Yeah, but so that was do we to hit spot it. I the... don't know if that works for if I can see or hear because it... You might be able to seek for an area where the snowfall is not falling right. If there seems to be something blocking it, but doesn't explain what it is. Yeah, that's what I had thought of doing. I would try striking, which I, I, have, I have two different moves, I think. I will actually seek this time for the okay. dragon, for Glorifex, see if he's there. So yeah, a seek can either be a 30-foot cone in front of you or a 15-foot burst within oh. line of sight. Um, so a, like yeah, a 15-foot so radius first. circle. Let me get my little... Yeah, you can, you can make here. yourself a little burst and then Eep. place it where you want to look. Oh. On the map. Here you. Aha, here we go. Uh, beep. There it goes. Uh, it's going to be up. About. I'm just going to put it up. Can I put it up? A hunt. Ooh, now it's over there. Uh, you can just tell me uh, how far up it yeah, is. Yeah, I'll just put it up in the air. I like 70 feet. No, okay. 110 feet. 110 feet, all right. <laughs> I decided. 110 feet. Nice. So, <laughs> probably more reasonable. <laughs> so it kind of goes to 140 and uh, 30 below that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, go ahead and give me a perception check. Uh, it would be a secret check. That's... Ooh, secret. Okay. Secret check. Come here, you. I'm not hunting. Uh, public secret. Secret check. Here's my secret. Okay, your your, your eagle eyes scan the sky, uh, looking at the area above the the rune giant. Um, the closest rune giant, uh, trying to like watch for the, the falling snow, uh, acting in any weird ways. But you're fairly certain that there's nothing impeding the snow there. It looks looks totally fine. No creatures okay. detected. In that case, woo. Okay, that's a big. Oh. <laughs> just kidding. Get out of it. here. Yeah, you can just delete it. Thing. There it goes. Okay. Da, 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 da. Come back here. But I can see the rune giant. Correct? I can see through this, or would I? You say I have to move. Yes, you to can. See anything. No, you can. You can see the front of the rune giant from there, kind of just barely. Okay. Well, I'm gonna hunt prey the rune giant because that's what I can see. Okay. And Asher will fire two. Hold on, I have to click some boxes. Too many boxes were clicked. I'm gonna fire two hunted shots at him. One second. They're coming. One. Not a great roll. The same for both. It is a 37. Double 37s are not enough. Uh, you fire two uh, clean arrows in its direction. Uh, it turns and like flips the its uh, great sword um, to its side and blocks both uh, arrows with the blunt of its uh, the, the broadside of the blade. 
has such power. All right, that's my entire turn. Okay. Um, the one of the stone giant troops uh, atop the tower is going to move uh, closer to the. Oh, actually, no. Uh, it will move to the uh, the arbalist. Uh, and rotate it into position uh, facing north. Taking aim at the kind of, well, basically in the direction of all of you guys. So it's turning the the big uh, mounted bow and arrow. Uh, And that will take it basically the three actions to set it up for the other ones to use. Uh, Okay. The Rune Giants uh, Sorry, the Rune Giant The remaining Rune Giant in the back uh, Is Does it do anything different from what I think it's doing? It should be Okay, that was constant Alright It is going to uh, run forward uh, angling up as it does so it's clearly walking on the it's like walking on the snow uh, as it runs up towards Greshi. Um but let's see wait can I put it back how far is that that is total of that Uh, it can go at a 45 degree angle. Is that how airwalk works? Hi. Yeah. So. Oh, we're doing 45 degree angles now. Well, airwalk with, with airwalk. Airwalk specifically does 45 degree angles. <laughs> um, that's a good. <laughs> the. A, a good heuristic is um, <laughs> is if your if your vertical is less than your horizontal, then cut it in half. Uh, uh, uh. Trying to think, does it actually do? That seems like the most same if it, thing. It could if do. they were even, then it would be like one point four. So it would actually be at basically at worst 1.4 yeah so so it's it's at about 60 Uh, Greshi's still at 80 so I think it's actually going to continue to uh, up towards rock and gun and that wow. should get it so how much it's going to be up at 70 but it's used all three actions to to run that far all right wow it's basically trying to get around behind you um this walks up a staircase of air <laughs> yeah staircase of it's very air inconvenient um, <laughs> all right, you let's see. You hear some sounds, uh, how can I? Sorry, my arrow keys aren't working. Too much. Sorry, this is very precise. Okay, right there. Uh, okay. 
Um, you watch as Glorifex reappears from the snow, uh, like partially invisible, uh, as it prepares to, it kind of rears back its head, uh, and it is going to uh, move forward. Uh, it is on the is on the ground in the snow. And it's going to stop forward. Is that my? Yeah, it is just stomping forward through the snow. This is so um, menacing. This kind of translucent uh, imagery. Um, and it's like rearing up its mouth. It's crackling with lightning, uh, getting ready to spew. Uh, the Frost Giants. Um, <laughs> do they turn and see that? Uh, well, actually, they know that they need to just go. Um, they are just going to back away. They're already fairly injured. I'm going to back up and run. So to speak. Sorry, they started here. Movement speed times three is that. Okay. Move there and then. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Oh yeah, perfect. All right, yeah, they go running behind the the kind of translucent glorifex. effects. Um, their axes uh, raise as they run for the other stairs. Gretchy, it's your turn. Um, I'm way too far down. Um, I don't like these things being all near me. I don't appreciate it much at all. Well, you got your regeneration, so I think is I do get my turn? regeneration, so I get to, uh, we'll gets start. it to the beginning of the turn. Okay. So, heal 15 back. Um, Yeah. I suppose I should get something up at least, though I don't think it's going to do me much good. But I will. It's an action to disbelieve an illusion, isn't it? Um, to disbelieve an illusion, you need to usually interact with it in some way. Uh, okay, maybe. so Greshi can't be just suspicious of this apparition in front of him. Yeah, I mean, you can obviously be suspicious of it, but uh, <laughs> let me let me to actually check. disbelieve it is an action of some sort. Uh, do do some illusions allow an affected creature to disbelieve the spell, which could let them to ignore the spell. It usually happens when you seek or otherwise use actions to engage with the illusion. So you have to do a seek action. Oh, do some sort of seek. Does action. that mean it's two actions, or does that mean it's part of the seek action? Uh, let's see. When you use a seek action, you compare the result of your perception check or another check or saving throw at the GM's discretion to the caster's spell DC. Mental illusions typically provide rules for disbelieving the, the effect, allowing someone an affected will save. If it's a visual illusion and a creature interacts with an illusion in a way that would prove that it's not what it seems, the creature might know that an illusion is present, but still can't ignore the illusion without successfully disbelieving it. Uh, for instance, if you're pushed through the illusion of a door, you'll know that the door is an illusion, but you can't still can't see through it. Disbelieving an illusion makes it an uh, the things that block seem hazy and dis indistinct. Uh, blah, 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 blah. The stuff on the other side might be concealed at GM's discretion. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you could... You could believe that it's an illusion and try to ignore it, uh, but if you want to ignore the effects, you'd need to seek to, uh, like, do a perception check against it. All right, well... We're just going to ignore it for the moment then. We're going to fly this direction a bit. And having flown a little bit further south and east, a little more away from the flying cloud giants behind me, um, Greshi's going to uh, burst a wave of energy out that kind of starts to slow the snow around him and try to affect all of the giants nearby. Uh, excepting for these ones who are hanging out on the ground. They are too far out of range. The rune giant on the ground? 
the rune giants is way too far out of range, but there's the stone giants on the ground. The rune giants who are not out of range because they're flying or walking on the air. Mm -hmm. And then the cloud giants who are also up on my level. Yep. That should also get these giants who are hanging out on the ramparts that remains. And I will need some fortitude saves from them as we attempt to slow them down a bit. OK, yeah, you're you're above the rampart. So, yes, you, they should all be potentially affected. OK, everyone except for these ones that are down here on the ground. You're 80. They're all right. Up. Oh, I see the, the ones that are like directly below you on the ground and this one either next to yep. the. Yep. Makes sense. Makes sense. OK, um, I'll start with the cloud giants behind you. Uh, they got a failure. They are slowed one for a minute. The mm -hmm. rune giant that's trying to engage in combat got a failure. Oh, shit. Uh, that one is that's slowed good. one for a minute. The stone giant troop that is closest to you got a failure. They are slowed for a minute. And the furthest stone giant troop that are getting ready to man the ballista got a failure. They are slowed one for a minute. Considering giants have good fourth saves, I'll take it. Yes. I'll take it quite happily. Uh, those were some very, very guys. poor rolls on their end. <laughs> I. Well. Okay, yeah, just the, just take a breather. the emotions all begin to slow down. Uh, and yeah, you take a sigh of relief as you watch your spell actually take effect. Okay, but that is three actions, so that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. Um, the stone giants on the ground here are going to hurl boulders up at you. Give me a reflex save. All right. Up, up, up. Um buttons that's a natural one um natural i am going one. to use my hero point this early um to see if we can swerve out the way at the last moment should press the correct button but uh, 32 <laughs> instead uh, 32 is a success so you take half of 44 for 22 <sighs> which that's is much so better still. than 88 <laughs> yes by a lot but still <laughs> ow um They're still kind of blocked in there, so they're not really going to do much else. Okay, uh, that leaves uh, the cloud giants. I could just leave. There's a, there's a path. Just go north. Uh, no, go that's blocked. Out. You you toppled a tower in the way. They'd have to climb up. Oh, that's true. There's a whole bunch of rubble <laughs> and such in the way. Uh, okay, these cloud giants uh, are slowed, so they only have two actions. Um, mm -hmm. Hmm. I guess they have to use one to fly, so they'll use one to fly around to the other side of gun. Hmm. And use their third action to try to swipe at you with their rancers or stab at you with their rancers as they're doing so. Um, so go ahead and give me a reflex save, please. For gun? For gun, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a... Oh, sorry, it's gun third. and gun and rock. <laughs> both of you. Okay. I forget it's an AOE. All right, one second. Okay, Rock has a 30. Gun okay. has a 34. Uh, let me confirm whether Bulwark applies to... I mean, you're still... Attacks. Oh, I see. Sh should Rock's um, uh, frightened condition have gone down by one at the end yes, of the Yes, it should. Rock's, Rock is... It should have Rock. gone down by two at his turn, in fact. Oh. Because he's okay. next to me. So yes, you should remove that. So he should, which does make a difference. Oops, I've removed status. Gives him from a thirty-two. That's okay. Uh, that thirty-two is the difference between a failure and a success. So that is a success, um, and the gun is also a success. So you just oh, take either way. Yeah. Uh, I rolled it as rock, but sixteen points of mixed piercing and bludgeoning. 
Then half that? Uh, half of that, yes. Both of you. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. That leaves, let's see, Stone Giant Troop that is on top of this building. Uh, they still have their two actions. They are going to target Rock. Uh, I need a reflex save from Rock, please. Okay. Uh, that this time he has a forty. Oh, uh, that is a from this attack. It's just shy of a critical success. That is a success. Um, oh, okay. oh, 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 oh. There's our. Uh, I didn't put it in here, but that should be, uh, that's basically two of those, so, that, uh, what's that? Whoop! Oh! Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Is that Sorry. correct? No, no, that's not correct. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, let me let me talk that again. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, sorry. Wow. One hundred and twenty damage is not correct. Okay. Oh good. No. Uh, Slightly it, reassuring. from the lower it's level a, enemy. <laughs> well, it's from the, the hazard. Not but, well. uh, sorry. Let me. One, let me. Oh, what hazard? Double check my number, but the they're using the uh, the ballista. Oh right, I was hoping to get over there before they could, the other group could do it. Uh, but alas. Now that I'm didn't know how many actions it would take to fire it, so yeah. I was hoping they had the other team did three, and then they used <coughs> both both of their actions for yep. this. Um, no, this is this is reasonable I'd... that is not just didn't right. catch it the first time no this is supposed to be uh... that's not it either where's the hazards page oh no my hazards <clears throat> there we go uh... damage there we go. Um, you guys are... Uh, okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I think I just flubbed. I wrote six... I wrote 16? Or I wrote... I wrote 12. Yes. Sorry. Should be 6d12. Not 12d12. Plus 41. So I can still be high. Okay. That is 78 points of piercing damage. But it's succeeded, better. so have. Yep. Okay. Okay. That was their their one big ballista bolt. Uh, the rune giant. Does that thing look like it needs to be reloaded before it could fire again? Yes, it does need to be reloaded before it can be fired again. They basically use. I mean, okay. they use their two actions: one to load, two to fire. Oh, sorry. I the uh, the first stone giant troop rotated it, loaded it uh, with their it's one to rotate, two to reload, and then okay. this giant troop used their two to fire. There, explained. Um, so gotcha. we'll take them two to reload and two to fire again. Uh, uh, okay. uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. The rune giant that is grounded is going to. Shout. So, nah, it's just gonna th throw its own rock. Uh, up at rock. So it'll pull the rock. It can just do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It'll uh, grab a bolt. Uh, Release a hand from its sword, grab a boulder from its pack, and hurl it in Rock's direction. 
Oh, that is a 33, which is going to miss. Uh, it is going to try a second one. Same target, 31. Also a miss. Uh, and third action. Uh, it is going to move up and up. That was 30, uh, so 15. Okay, so it's just starting to walk towards you and up. All right, gun, your turn. Um... <laughs> Well, I'm not quite, I'm not so happy right here where I'm at. Uh, so. Circled by giants. Yep. We're going to dive over here uh, and do an eagle dive. We should be able to just move straight over, maybe down five feet, I think. Um, and Rock will do his eagle dive move, which gives him a talons attack at the end. Okay, uh, you're attacking the one that was manning the ballista? Yep. All right. With a 37 to hit. Uh, 37 will hit the damage. That's 23 points of slashing damage. Okay, yeah, you, she slashes at the uh, giants as they're scrambling to tr slowly to try to grab another bolt. Gun will then take a two-handed strike at the giants as well. Uh, with remedy. So, here's... Now... Oh, because I'm mounted, right? So I actually... Yep, I guess I'll have to do that at an attack two, which is... Uh, 32 is still a hit. 32 to hit. Roll damage. Okay. So why are they... 39 points of damage. Looks like we've got that re-fixed up. Oh, I see. They were uh, frightened. Right followed here. by... Uh, 39 points of damage. Yet you managed to take out one of the group of four. Followed by a maximum damage or Rastle's arrow here for an additional 26. Uh, 26 points of damage is enough to, to the, the wind blast from your sword managed to knock uh, a second one of the four giants off the cliff. Uh, it falls off the ramparts so, as he falls. And uh, with the um With the, with the remaining action, we will attempt a uh, scare to death on the guy back here, the rune giant, whom I have not attempted that on yet. And that is uh, just going to come out as an intimidation check. Okay, versus their will DC. But I was going to use points on that, but I clicked it too fast. Oh, well, 34, it's weak. It's not 34 great. is not a success. You... Uh, try to you turn back and try to strike a, a intimidating pose and shout a a, a word of challenge, uh, but the giant is uh, not scared of you or not scared enough, perhaps. Okay, that's the end of your turn, Asher. Ah, uh, I can see the other giant now. Good for me. Uh, I'm also going to hunt prey the second one. So now they're both my hunt prey targets. I'm going to do my shooty rooty tooty. Where are my points? I have 15 points. I can use it on one of these shots. I'll use it on the first one. Okay. Nine points. So nine points Actually, added to a Jason, shot? Uh, yeah. Even on a failure, the target still becomes frightened one. 
Oh, is that true? Okay. With scared to death. Good to know. But they are so immune for um, for a while. Sounds good. I think it's just one minute. Which you might actually need to denote for me. Um, if you put scared to death in the chat, I can I can mark them. Sure, that sounds good. So first attack is oh, a the only, is a forty seven, which is a crit. The second one's a natural one for a twenty eight. Other one just doesn't hit, and it's cute. It gives you a little like sad Asher. <laughs> oh, um, the sad upside down Asher. Okay. All right, go ahead and roll I should crit damage. Which one I was attacking? I'm attacking the one that's in the back, not by the stairs. Yes, I assume so, given that you were attacking your hunted prey, and that's the other one you hunted. No, I hunted them both as first move. So oh, did you? I oh, I, I didn't catch that. One, I, yeah. So now they're wait. both. So that was one. Oh, I see. This just now. Okay. Yeah. I see. I see. Okay. We're on the same. Thank you. Yes. Now. I must do my damage. We're going to do it. Okay. So okay. both rune giants are hunted. That is 94 points of damage, six of which is fire, which doesn't happen, yeah. doesn't affect it. That's cool. Uh... Chat is giving you more points. It looks like four points. Thank you, chat. This is the Oops. only way I'll hit anything. <laughs> I've made you go to negative 12. <laughs> That's, oh, what happens? <laughs> what happens at negative twelve? Nothing. Uh, I just tapped the wrong button. I tapped the use button and not the. Uh... So you were at six. That should be. Oh my goodness! You're all just adding points. Okay. Someone tell me when you're done adding points. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They've got to be done adding points at some point. <laughs> Good lord. Help me crit, yes. <laughs> Done up. Uh, you're, you're feeding Char's habit. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, goodness. I can't. It's hard for me to count in this. Can someone else count for me? That's 10 before the done and then one more after. Okay, so 11 here. <laughs> no, 12. <laughs> one, two, three. Sorry, six plus 12 is 18 is where you're at currently before I look up and see more. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry? No, it's fine. Of course you did. <laughs> at some point, <laughs> at some point, I'll automate this. And that some point is not now. <laughs> I need to talk to Fred Locke. Okay. He, he was working on something for this. Anyway, sorry, continue. <laughs> it's your turn. Oh, my Still. last turn. Last I'm action. Gonna... So... I think that's how it works. In Interact, yes, yeah, just one action. I will use Interact on my anklets. I'll give my anklets a little click so that I can gain a 20-foot status bonus. Can I just click on this? There they go. Uh -huh. uh, status bonus to my speeds and water walk, which will be very effective <laughs> right now. <laughs> but for 10 minutes. All right. And I think I just drag you somewhere. All right, yeah, you click your heels yes. together. Oh, there it is. Okay. And get a little burst of speed. Wee. All right. And it says speed, so it obviously applies to your fly speed as well. But it only go to 50. Or airwalk speed. It went from 40 to 50. Is it is something already applied that it's not applied? Yes, you have long strider, which is also a status bonus. So if this is a 20-foot okay. so bonus, it, yeah, it overrides the long strider bonus. So it effectively is Perfect. a plus 10. That's what I thought was happening. Oh. Now I'm oh, thank you for the gift, so, Joey. It's or per good. not minute. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, now I'm this... quicker. All right. Some slowed giants. Um, can they reach you up there? They'll take their big swings. Yes, they can. They can still reach Gun and Rock. Um, they are going to swing their 
uh, clubs in your direction. Uh, they can only use two actions to do so, so this is the two action version. And there's only two of them left, so it'll be reduced damage. Okay, uh, gun and rock, please give me your reflex saves. I'm with a <laughs> 32. Rock. 39. All right, those are both successes, so you'll take half of this damage. Uh, 16, so half of 16. 16.5. 16.5 halves. 8.25. What's going on here in chat? Uh, that's two Rassel's favors and two Fool's Lux. Thank you. One, two, one, two. All right. Me with so many points, and yet I'm using all creatures with reflex save attacks. What a fool am I. Uh, <laughs> I am Bobo the Clown. Uh, Bobo the Fool. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess it's Boo-Boo the Fool, isn't it? It is Boo-Boo the Fool. Um, oh no. Everybody's spending their points today. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Week of giving. <laughs> uh, this rune giant is going to uh, run through the air closer to Greshi, uh, and uh, is going, huh? it is going to. Uh, whoever does that, it could do that. Uh, yeah, it'll it'll swing its great sword at you first uh, with action. Oh, it's slow actually, so it only has two actions. So it's gonna move, fly, uh, run towards you. That's also frightened one. Mm -hmm. uh, it will try to swing. Uh, that looks like it's still a critical hit. Exactly. Uh, that is a crit. Forty-nine. That is yep. exactly crit. Mm -hmm. Um. 77 points of slashing damage to Greshi. As it slashes through the air. Ow. It's with the doubling. Okay. I was thinking you were doubling that after I was yeah. like, oh. No, 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 no. Oh no. my god. <laughs> Greshi's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> That's already included. Uh, something, about, something about half your health in one swing. Mm -hmm. uh, it has to be double your max health in one, one swing to kill you. Um, oh, W. Very, very unlikely at this level. Half. It, you'd have to be quite a high, or quite. It's usually a very low level where this happens, or or you fall from an impossible mm. height without capital. Uh, in any case, it moved, attacked, and that's all its actions because it's slowed. It is no longer frightened. However, uh, that brings us to top of the round. Glorifex, um, the dragon image. Uh, opens its mouth. Uh, it's kind of translucent maw opening wide, crackling with this kind of translucent lightning. Uh, and I believe Reshi is within range. Uh, Probably. Reshi, I need. Uh, How long's the line? Uh, 120. And uh, that yep. is enough. Yep. Uh, I need a reflex save from you, please. I'm going to throw some points at this because it seems like a good idea this time. <laughs> uh, All right, points, oh, points. nine points. <laughs> points to try and fly out of the way of whatever's about to come. My uh, direction. Good nine. vibes only. That one. How tall is a rune oh, giant? Does it get hit by this as well? It's a little lower down, but it's much, much taller than Greshi. One, one, one moment. Uh, I need to also give you six more points. Six. Oh, okay. that's nice. Just making sure I was catching up. And then there's some bad omens in there. Is that two bad omens? It's only going to be a success. One, well, That's nice two. that the fate points are just right in there. Well, now's the time to use them, I suppose. 
Okay, sorry. Um, what was your question? Oh, did you manually add those in as a monster? Oh, I did. I did. Yeah, oh, nice. you can, you can manually you. add them. Sorry, what was Gun's question? I was just wondering if that's a line thing that that hits the rune giant. Does that possibly hit the rune giant that's standing right behind Grishy as well? Uh, no, I mean, it's because a straight it line is, on... it's a straight line. Uh, it doesn't hit the rune giant. There's like a narrow <gasps> gap. Oh, just barely. Yeah, just yep. barely. A technicality. Sniper, no sniping. <laughs> Sniper, no sniping. <laughs> Sniper, no sniping. Uh, that is going to be that. Um, you got a 44, which is a success, uh, thanks to the fate points. Um, so you take half that electricity damage. Um, even with that, Greshi's knocked from the sky. No! and descends. Um, luckily, the effects of his storm and flight cause losing concentration on it effectively to create a feather fall effect. So he does not slam into the ground. Okay. But yeah, he does you... descend at 60 feet around. All right. Yeah, you you fall at 60 feet per round. So I guess that would put him down to 20 I'll, I'll... feet. When your turn comes up, I guess. Uh, sure. We'll do it. We'll do it immediately. Um, okay. And then it'll do it at the at the end of your turn if you don't do anything, um, or at the start of your turn. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let me move you in the initiative order. You now come before. That was exactly effects. even at half was exactly my hit point total. No. I had thirty four left. Gashy. Move that there, and then move lower effects right under you. Okay. You, you got your like. I keep calling it the recreational healing. What is I it? do have the rejuvenation, regeneration. so yeah, regeneration. regeneration. So <laughs> true. Uh, I don't think that wears off necessarily. Um, it it doesn't, doesn't. In fact, <laughs> that's true. Uh, is your turn? Was your turn immediately after? It was not. It was. Um, it's like was two turns after. Us. Okay, I think the frost. There was a frost goes... drain between us, technically. Oh boy. Okay. Let me. Um... <laughs> How do I add like a random I mean, thing to this the is... encounter tracker? because your regeneration... Oh, I guess it's still procs at the start of your turn. Sure, whatever. We'll just, we'll keep it as is. That's fine. This is fine. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. the way it's written, so we'll do okay. it this way. We'll do it this way. Uh, cool. Frost Giants. Where are they? They're over here. Uh, they're gonna keep running. running away. Yep. I'm just gonna remove them from initiative. Uh, they are... If you're curious, you would watch them run all the way back towards the uh, where the western stairs are um, to go reinforce the other stairway. All right, uh, stone giants. We've got this set down here. Uh, they watch Greshi falling. Um, they will. They can't reach up there. They are going to. What's their movement? Okay, I think as a group they're gonna kind of move, clamor up these uh, boulders. Uh, sorry, the the ruins of this wall, uh, and kind of make their way to the other side, uh, towards the stairs, and they'll start descending the stairs. Uh, so that removes them from initiative. The Cloud Giants. Gun is over there. They are still slowed. And what's their movement? They are going to use both of their movement actions to fly towards Gun. Oh, actually, wait. There's an Asher back there, isn't there? There is. I'm just Do they know out. that there's an Asher back there, though? I did shoot the, one. Yeah. Oh, they, shoot they, that one? Asher's, Asher's shoot, been... Shot one of them. Asher's been shooting, okay. yeah. Um, okay. Sorry, so instead... Uh, uh, yeah, it can it can definitely fly over here and descend very easily okay, to... We'll call that 30 feet. Uh, and... Sorry, where was it? It was here. That is still two actions. So yeah, it flies to... It'll, maybe it'll fly a little bit 
further. Uh, but it flies closer to Asher towards the north. Um, the, it, the, the group, the, the whole troop flies towards Asher um, to try and deal with him. Actually, maybe they'll kind of block your vision as they're doing so. Um, and that's their two actions. Stone Giant Troop that was manning the ballistas. Uh, they are going to pick up their clubs with their first action, uh, since they would have to have dropped them to man the Arbalist. Uh, Arbalists and ballistas are the same, right? <laughs> right? Right? Ish. <laughs> Close enough. Uh, I'm going to use them interchangeably, mm -hmm. even though I know that's not the case. Uh, okay, they are going to then swing their... Uh, they're going to do one one set of big swings. Uh, reflex saves from gun and rock. Okay. And they only have the one action version, and it's just going to be halves. So first, gun has a thirty-two being mounted. <laughs> and... <laughs> and rock has a thirty-six. Okay, gun takes one point of bludgeoning damage. Uh, and rock takes one point of bludgeoning damage. Uh, as they are only able to use their one action version of this attack. Okay. They they rolled two d10s and got two. Um, okay. The... <laughs> Uh, this rune giant here, this is the one that Asher's been hitting. It's the weaker of the two rune giants. It's slightly lower. Uh, it is going to turn its attention towards Asher, I think. Uh, it can move all the way over here <laughs> with two actions. Uh, it'll kind of stay at your level. It'll like descend just to your level. Uh, and as it's charging towards you, um, this one is going to strike at you with its long spear. That is a 45 to hit, which looks like it hits. Does hit. For 25 points of piercing damage. Yeah. Uh, that was two moves and a strike. Gun. Um, how far, what's the distance from me to to Glorifex? About 115 feet for that image. That image is on the ground, you said, right? Yes, it is currently standing on the ground in the snow. Okay, it's it's still got the plus 100 feet. Um, hmm, Greshi and. Uh, we will peel off, I think, to hmm, I think Rock can can manage to do his eagle dive move, which is a double move and an attack at the end. Uh, at the, at Glorifex? Sure, yep. Mm -hmm. But we'll do that first. Okay. You go for an attack. You've got 46. Oh, 46 you say. Um... I need to check a uh, property. I guess I could have done this in the other order, actually. Um, and Gun is going to cast True Sight, True Seeing. So he's going to cast True Seeing first so and then okay. fly. Um, sure. Yes, and then we're going to fly. That's fine. Uh, I will allow and if it. this thing turns out to be an illusion, if this thing turns out to be an illusion, I probably should should try to stop Rock from. But I guess he's going to do his attack anyway. Uh, yeah, Hopefully, I'm gonna, it's not going to keep his attack there. That explodes but... when you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You you fly. If it turns uh, towards... out to be. 
you fly towards the uh, the massive kind of translucent glow effects, um, and I'll say as you're as you're flying, you cast true seeing or activate true seeing. Um, oh, I guess you're casting it directly. You cast true seeing, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, rock goes for a talon strike uh, and connects with the uh, with the dragon's uh, face directly uh, with that forty six and hits, but tears through the image, uh, causing it to dissipate immediately. It's obvious to you that it was an illusion now that it's gone, but the illusion is, is broken. Still. Is the, uh, is Glorifex visible within 60 feet of me now that I have true seeing? Um, and we're still, we're not 70 feet up anymore, but we're probably, what, 30 or 40? Uh... To reach his head? To be able to reach his Yeah, to reach face. his head... Uh... Yeah, yeah, we'll say 40, sure. Um, no, you do not sense his presence in the immediate 60 feet. Okay. Okay, that's your turn. Asher. Ah, it's me. I don't like this. You got some friends. I don't like these friends. They are not friendly. Or maybe they are. I haven't asked. Well, that that illusion was still shooting real lightning bolts at my real friends, so. Yeah, you watch, you watch, uh, I guess you, you could even see that image of Glorifex necessarily. Um, you saw the, the lightning um, shoot out and zap Greshi. You saw Gun dive in that direction, but you now lost sight of Gun because he's dipped uh, behind this building. And let me know if there's any opportunity attacks, but otherwise, flying over here. <laughs> Okay, you try to fly away. There is an opportunity attack from the rune giant uh, okay. who is going to try and swing at you uh, or stab at you, as it were, swing. because he's got a spear. So he uses long spear attack. That is a crit. Ooh. All right, let me 50. come back. <laughs> my crit. Uh, that is 47 points of piercing that. damage from the crit. That could be worse. Uh, yeah, it could be. And if that was a crit. Uh, that wasn't a manipulate action. Now stay so it here forever. Disrupt. No, you can you can keep moving. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, I can just go. Uh, correct. I'm out I think of here. some things I didn't have like that a one bit. Some things can block your movement on a on a crit, but this one does not. Okay, you're he's bloodied. I'm bloodied. We are bloodied together. Uh, <laughs> We're all this bloodied. Is great. <laughs> We're all bloodied here. On this um, blessed day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm shooting him. And I'm shooting him twice. And I'm using points to shoot him. Because okay. the act, that hurt me. <laughs> that hurt me a lot. Let's find out how to do it. Give me a second. On theme. Uh, bup, 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 bup. So those are your first nine points. <laughs> Happy please no TPK day. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, there's your first crit with a 58. For, for Thanksgiving. Um, <laughs> and here's just my second attack just for fun. These a shoot, shoot. Oh, look, what's that? Is that a 20 for me? <laughs> <laughs> <A> tricky day? <laughs> Oh, you didn't even Don't use your points on the second one. Ever just... again. <laughs> no, I just got a natural 20. All right, they're all double criticals. Get wrecked. Uh, I think we forgot to roll Absolutely. effects on the prior crit, but oopsies. Has Asher had a double critical before? Uh, if it's, I don't think this way, but I think so. I don't know. Uh, if he did, be... I think it might have been the 
uh, the like the water attack against um, Longtooth, the fire, dra the red dragon. That might have been a double critical, but I'm not quite remembering. So that is a 96. Uh, minus so two, so let me give two fire damage back. And then the second one, oh, sorry, that wasn't two. That oh, was I rolled terribly on that. <laughs> 11. Uh, and then the second attack was 77 points of damage. Uh, so 77 plus 96 minus two minus the 11. So it's a total of 160, 160. points of damage. Uh, yeah, you don't land ever touch me again. <laughs> two shots right in its uh, right in its two shoulders very cleanly. Uh, it needs to make. Are you going to push it or no? Oh, I forgot I could. I guess it's flying. Why not? Let's push it farther away from me. Get away okay. from me. Uh, I'll have it roll. Try. Yeah, what happens? Both here? impactfuls. So it succeeds against the first one and succeeds against the second one. So it's resisting that for fun. Uh, oh, sorry. It is persistent fire 1d10. <laughs> so it is on fire. Can, uh, can it even take that damage? Or is it? Oh, that's true. That? It, it It is immune to that. So that is ignored. Um, but it could Did be I frosted. My... Let's see. Easy critical success. <laughs> Easy critical <laughs> success, so the frost doesn't happen. Um, and it's in the air, so it can't uh, be pinned. Okay, um, this giant is... now is... flat-footed until the end of my next turn. So okay. it now has flat-footed. Good would be the pin. Oh, wow. Since that was asked in the chat. What was that? What? Uh, oh, crit spec. Yes, that, oh. that would be the pin uh, pin oh, effect. Yeah, the pinning. Um, but it is flying currently, so it is not pinned. Where is flat-footed? What does the flat-footed icon look like? I always forget. It's this shield that it is broken. Look like okay, a there we foot. go. It is flat-footed. <laughs> All right, it is. So yeah, these two arrow shots hit it both the shoulders. Okay. Blood blasts out. Uh, it's a mix of elemental effects. Uh, the uh, its arm droops low. Uh, it is looking really bad. It is in critical condition. I still have another thing I can do. <laughs> I still have another you action. You still have one more action. Somehow. This thing looks like it would go down in one more shot. Yes, that's true. But my one more shot is very sad. But it could be cool. There's a 1 in 20. You've still got 11 chance. points. <laughs> no, not on a minus 10. Maybe. <sighs> oh, yeah. Basically, yeah. negates your negative. It, so it it's not a minus 10, right? It's like a minus. But it's uh, a card. Isn't it just a minus 8? Yeah, why is this 10? It says a minus 10 somehow. Oh, I get. Sorry, bows are not necessarily. Yeah. Uh, I guess you would need to be a flurry ranger for that, right? Yeah, yeah. That's they don't have. 10. I'm dumb. <laughs> They're not agile, thank you. I mean... Hmm. One, two, three, one, four, five. five. That's five more uh, Fool's Lux. One, two, three, four, five. All right, you're at 16. Choose your final action. Your third action. Stuff. I am choosing... Violence. <laughs> ah, fuck. Should use the nine. 38. 38? I mean, 38's enough. That'll hit. Oh, does it? Oh, fuck. I was only yeah. asked by one that one time. <laughs> you made it. it. Four well, you also you made it flat footed. <laughs> ah. You just. <laughs> oh, yeah. <gasps> I'm so good oh. at. <laughs> Pathfinder. <laughs> wow. We've um, been playing for a couple of years. We're pretty good at this. <laughs> easy, easy skill diff. Skill diff. Easy. Easiest enemy of my life. All right, it's just normal damage. Uh, 51 points of damage is normal. more than enough. As it's... Uh, uh, not... Hmm? 
Yeah, no precision on it, so no eleven. That was an accident on my part, but everything it, else. Checked yeah, it's out. fine. It had so it had four. fourteen. It had fourteen health, so yes, uh, you managed to well, land it. one more arrow <laughs> clean in the center of its forehead. Um, the dr- the dragon, the giant uh, stumbles back, runes uh, its kind of rune tattoos start to flare and spark wildly as it stumbles backwards, and it's taking it's it's still got the air walk on, so it's kind of like walking on the air as it's stumbling backwards, but then it kind of loses its footing and then just tumbles down the mountainside. Ooh, yeah, that's what happens when you crit me. <laughs> just get out of here. All right. And that's my turn. Uh, this group of stone giants, um, they are still slowed. Can they think they need to move to even see gun? And that's the end of their turn because they can't throw their rocks with one action left. Okay. Uh, the remaining rune giant uh, as Greshi is falling uh, in the air it will swing back around uh, run towards gun as far as it can in two actions Uh, it'll descend a bit as it does so to get level with you And it will use its great sword to swing in your direction. It's going to target rock. Oh, that's some reach. Yes, it has 20 foot reach. These uh, rune giants are very, very tall. They're much bigger than the other giants. That is a 49 just shy of a crit. On rock. (laughs) Uh, 38 points of slashing damage. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, fuck. Okay. It was slowed, wasn't it? Ignore me. It, it was. was. It was Ignore slow. me. It, it couldn't It couldn't thing. reach. It couldn't reach. It moved twice. Ah. So it runs forward, tries to get a swing in, but it is far too slow, thanks to Greshi's spell. Speaking of Greshi's spell. Greshi. <laughs> Greshi. Oh, hey. I... You're beginning to descend, but you get your 15 health back, and your eyes flit awake. Um, did you have anything in your hands? Uh, I would have had my staff in my hand, so that's cluttered to the ground, which is unfortunate. Um, I guess, so the spell doesn't technically end, actually, if I'm... Since the since it actually hasn't run out yet, correct? The Storm oh. of Light? But you lost concentration on it, right? It's not really concentration. That was flavorish. It kind of just lasts until it runs out, which is still got two rounds on. So I'd actually still be at the full 80 feet up, I think. Um, I think now I would start to descend, except I'm conscious. When the spell's duration would end, if you're still flying, you float to the ground as feather fall. Um, hmm. It's a, there's a question well, of uh, do spells, active spells end when you go unconscious? Uh, I would think only... not. If they don't require concentration, then no. But on the other hand, if you were oh, flying it's, uh, and yeah, it's, didn't it... move, wouldn't that mean that you would start to fall? I did move my last round. This is the beginning of my new round. So yes, that's true. If you didn't fly on this round, you would start to fall. Correct, but I would now have the opportunity to fly. Okay, so uh, we're just going to flavor this as you did fall. This puts me in a worse spot because my staff is 80 feet down. Yeah, we'll we'll say that you still, you you drifted, you were losing consciousness. It was beginning to wear off and you you wake up in time to to keep it up. Um, So you, you do descend the 20 feet, but you're still, you're not prone or anything. You I do descend to 220 feet. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Well, it's still unfortunate. Um, I guess we're going to fly down and swoop to pick that back up. So that'll be two actions to get down to ground level and grab the staff. Um, okay. Uh, I'd say it probably clattered uh, on this thing, so you probably have to fly to 
here to the spot. That's so, fine. Okay. I have the movement to get there. Okay. Going straight down is double speed, so um, would not have been an issue. But, uh, fuck. That's a whole lot else I can do, though. With one action. I guess I can blow a heal. Um, actually, no. Instead, I will reach into the bag in front of me and scoop around and pull Phelan out. So now I have both hands full, one with Phelan, one with staff. Okay. Just hanging out in the rubble here. Glor effects. Doo, doo, doo. Yes, where is he? <laughs> where is Glorifex indeed? Where can um, he be? Let's see, let's see. Double check. Okay. Uh, you see, like, snow start to kick up uh, as motion passes through the snow. Um, it will... Okay. Uh, then the next thing you see is... Let's see. Something like that. Let's do there. Okay. Um, something snaps at rock. Something? A, yes, something. Can I make a an automatic counteract check for it being within 60 feet of me to see uh, what you're seeing? Yes, you can. Yeah, go ahead. This is a counteract yeah. check, but there's a counter counteract check. <laughs> As it turns it's out. There now. <laughs> okay. That's a 44. Oh, it's slightly reduced because it's that. Okay. And what spell level is... <laughs> the spell level of true saying is what? It's, it's, it's here on the... Um, it's six. It's here on the thing. Success. Oh, okay. Cool. So... Oh, if well, that's I the, the roll I, on it. Then that's a crit failure. Uh, so no, 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 no. You're sorry. These aren't these aren't counteracting rolls. Uh, it is trying to counteract the effect oh. of your counteract. Um, so it is trying to beat your true seeing and you're trying to beat its uh, <laughs> image PC. spell. Yes. Um, gotcha. it, 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 he has something else on that is protecting him. Um, but that 57 is a critical success. So you uh, try to you, you try to get a sense of uh, what's there. You, you, you know something is there somewhere, um, but the true seeing just gets blocked. You, you feel like a, you're, there's like a, a hot flash in your eyes. Um, uh, like like there's, you're getting some kind of feedback, some static um, as you try to look in the uh, in that direction that it kind of just fades to neutral. Um, so you're not able to detect it. Um, it got a 49 like attacking rock, which is a hit, also just off by one. Uh, its jaws invisibly snap down on rock uh, for... Uh, hmm, I guess I should be mean in this case. Uh, that should be, because Rock can't see it, it would be flat-footed. Uh, so that should actually be a critical. <laughs> Chat says, don't be mean, be nice. I'm gonna be mean. I'm, I'm a mean GM. I'm really mean. Grr. <laughs> Grr. Uh, 83 points of damage to Rock. That's 48 piercing and 35 electricity. 35 electricity. Yes. Okay. All right. That that all lands. Um, actually, no. I'm gonna do the thing against that. I'm gonna react against that with a champion's reaction. Okay. So um, we're gonna restore that back. I know Glorifex is here somewhere, and um, he should know by now that he's an abomination <laughs> against the 
There is a oh, there is a question of what's your range on that? It's uh, fifteen feet. I'm. I'll still I'm allow it. I'll put the reaction. He may not. He may not technically be in range, but the bite is so sure. I'll allow it. Yeah, I'll if allow, it's a I'll melee allow. move, I think. Uh, but he he will take the enfeebled. That's fine. Uh, but it still goes through. So uh, actually, yeah. it's going to be minus two on his spells. It's going to be um, oh, uh, okay. what the confounded or whatever. Uh, stu- uh, um, stupefied. Stupefied. That's the one. Glimpse okay. of redemption. That's the one. And uh, that gives Rock uh, damage resistance of twenty to both of those damage types. All right. Take less. So he'll take 43. Uh, uh, okay. Good block. Um, you should have been, I should have been using that against the giants earlier, but it's been <laughs> a while since it actually was applicable. <laughs> um, well, for its third action, is Tails going to whip around and try to knock Rock out of the air? A 41 will just well, hit. Well, guess what? I'm going to do it again. Because <laughs> I have an additional reaction. I have an additional reaction that can only be used for this All um, right. ability. Uh, so the damage is going to be 34 this time, and you can reduce that. By 20, so it'll take 14. Can you also make him enfeebled on top of being stupefied? I believe so. Twice in the same round. I believe so. He should be both enfeebled and stupefied too now. Okay. Yeah, you uh, <laughs> you shout again, uh, chastising the dragon uh, in hopes of at least wearing down its resolve a bit. Um, well, that's the end of its turn. These cloud giants are pretty injured, but they are going to fly towards Asher (laughs) with one action and they are slowed. So they only get one more action to attack you. Uh, They'll do their coordinated melee strike with their Rancers stabbing at you. Uh, Give me a reflex save, please. Give me the stab. Maybe. <laughs> da, 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 da. Woo! Yeah, hopefully I'm not too bad. Um, 37 is a success, which becomes a crit success. You ignore them. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> Just go away. Very nimble of you. Be gone with you. Um, away. These giants up on the ramparts are going to move into a better position so they can see what's going on over with Glorifex, and that's their turn. The second action isn't sufficient to do anything. Um, Gun, your turn. Okay. Um, First thing we're going to do is to Lay on hands on rock. Give him back. Uh, I think it's going to be 60 hit points at this point. Let me just fire that off to make sure. Oh, I'm looking at rocks. Uh, that's why that wasn't going on. Fifty-four. Fifty-four healing. You suit. Uh... I guess you're dual wielding the sword, but you can just quickly uh, pet down rocks. You can, you yeah. can also like, like um, yeah, you can sort of yeah, you can, touch you can with, with, the, with the blade yeah. or something like that. You can like with the flat of the part of the blade. Sure. Yeah. You you kind of like annoy. Yes, sure. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you lay the flat part of the blade uh, along his uh, the back of his head between the antlers, uh, and his feathers rejuvenate. For 54, which um, brings them to about 75%. The 
follow up. Then we're going to command him to um, to fly uh, over. I think, and I think we'll go up. Um, and well, this giant is probably too tall to go straight over the top of him. Yes, you. Uh, it would be difficult to fly over that giant. The rock has 140 movement this way, so we'll actually go uh, around. We'll try to go around that giant, slightly up to where we can get on above the roof of this place. That's so the give me 70 feet. Give me one move to. I can't cross a wall. Okay, it will take its attack of opportunity as Rock flies past. Uh, yep. I so figured. It will stab at him with a long spear that will hit, but not crit. Wait, no, the giant? No, I'm going to stay away the from giant. the giant. How are How are you staying away from the giant? I'm staying away you're from already, that. Oh, you're right. already He's within the giant. I'm range. already in range. Yeah, you're you, right. You would have to. You're right. Yes. Can you step <laughs> in the air? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't not. think so. Um, let me let me look at it. I, I might be wrong, <laughs> but I, I don't know if you can step in the air. You carefully right, well, move five feet. Unlike most types of movement, stepping that... through reactions. Uh, sure, oh, actually, yeah. you could. Uh, I, oh no no no! Uh, you can't step into difficult terrain. And the last part of the sentence is, and you cannot step using a speed other than your hand speed. Well, that's rude. Hmm. Fair though. Have but I? Yes. Have I now been able to cross the wall? Should be allowed to step. Nope. Uh, oh, I can, I can. Move sorry, I can. I can put you over the wall. Uh, wherever you're trying to go inside the wall. Ooh, what's that so, sound on yeah. the rooftop? So that's that's one move <laughs> for Rock. We'll get us right about here. I'll just delete the walls. And then Oops, not that. second oh, move geez. is that. That's me not Changed deleting a, lot of a wall. Vision. That's that's me accidentally <laughs> adding a wall. Okay, I've removed the same walls. difference. <laughs> Second move is going to be over here by Rishi. We could have gotten there with less movement, but all right. And we're still down below the the edge of the tower, so hopefully we're not in Ballista's sight. Uh, yes, you can tell um, that that ballista is I, not going to be able to shoot downward. Uh, or certainly not. It can shoot can downward that... down the cliff, but it can't shoot downward in between mm. the two towers. I can see that Greshi seems to be up, so that's good. Um, oh, Gun's third action would have to be something that I can do before command, right? Because you can't. No, I can do action, command, move rock twice, and then a third action. Yes. Okay. Um, I think the third action will be. So you lay on hands, you flew, and then. Okay. Is this the giant that I did attempt to scare? I think it is. Uh, yes, it has a little gun icon. Yep, that's the one. Okay. Um, have we done that to the. Uh, to these giants that are up on the cliff? No, I don't think we have. The southmost one, one you did, All right. the, not the closer one. So as we fly over this way, I'm going to like lock eyes with the giants and make like a throat cutting motion and like this. <laughs> with the like, sword feet in both hands. Says, it's very awkward. You to don't do. have to. <laughs> you can, you can <laughs> drop one hand and put it back to gesture. It's fine. Sure, it doesn't fine. have any mechanical effect. <laughs> Um, okay, go ahead and roll so the that is a, yeah, I'm, intimidation. Or scared to death, rather. Yeah, I'm looking for it. Um, yeah, I think it rolls as a... Um, Deception, or by intimidation. A, intimidation. But I cannot use uh, intimidating prowess on it, so that'll be 46 this time against uh, its will DC. A 46 is a critical success. Oh, sweet. So. And it has to do the thing. <laughs> it has to do a fort save. All right. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. 
Can you put your scared to death in the chat for me so I can roll? I'm off gonna. Of that? I'm going to. I'm looking for feats. Like there it is. Could also be interactions. I don't know if it uh, adds it on. Looks like it's not interactions. But... I don't think okay. it's scared to death. Has its own action. Oh, although it should. Oh, there's a. Oh, I see. There's a new version of scared to death that does have it. Um. Oh, interesting. Because yeah, it's supposed to be a separate action from uh, demoralize. Okay. Well, in any case, it's your cl uh, class DC, I think. Well, let me. Where's intimidation DC? Intimidation DC. Will DC? Fortitude uh, must succeed at save against, your, save against yep. your intimidation DC or die. Okay. Uh, is the fortitude roll? Forty, I guess. That is a 32. That is a failure. <laughs> That's so not a you, success. Correct. That is not a success. You turn and uh, gesture with your sword. Um, the These giants stumble, uh, scared. They start to scramble, and they all tumble off of the, uh, the ramparts and fall onto these spikes, impaling themselves. Oh, my God. And Grishy sees none of it because he's in the rubble. <laughs> All he just saw was I saw just do everything. some gesture and some <laughs> things happened over there. <laughs> you hear you hear some giants go, ah, no, uh, in <laughs> in Yotun. And some terrible <laughs> squelching noises. Sounds like macaroni and cheese. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for that matter, I do still have a... Um a Jotun speaking spell on, so. Okay, yeah, you, you hear their death cries. I could have talked to them. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, what you always wanted. <laughs> Asher. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Gun's very, gun just screaming people to death. Well, you didn't even say anything. Wow. Uh, so I'm moving. Over this way. I'll make it one day. That's our, I think that's our first uh, scared to death success. <laughs> okay, Asher, you fly yeah. away from the feet. cloud giants uh, towards the, towards back towards the stairs, uh, gaining some distance. And then I should do my best. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna shoot once at the cloud giants. Maybe. I lied. I'm not doing that. I'm shooting <laughs> right. at the other hunted prey target. I'm changing the, the order in which I'm doing things. Rune giant? The, this rune giant down here. Don't like that there's a potential for me to get hit again. Not something I enjoy. <clears throat> So I'm going to strike. Where do I have points? Yes, and we'll use the points because it is the time of year to give <laughs> gifts and All right. shoot at things. Nine points of your, I think that was 17. I just added the one that was in the chat. It's a 40. Uh, 40 Did you have points to that? Yes, I think they're... Um, did they go in? No, you... I don't think they did. Nope, they got missed. Uh, a, 49 it's a 49 will... 49. The 49 will crit. Roll the double damage. Yeah. There's also... I'll just roll the second one, because that's what I'm doing, is the hundred shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, It matters. Course. It's uh, 34. 34 will hit, so yeah, a crit and a damage. Please... Just myrtleize it for us, please. Oh. I was targeting the um, the other one. Sorry, the rune giant. Did I say cloud? I saw yeah, I... my target. I was originally going for the cloud, and then I saw. Oh, sorry. 
Oh, oh, I see what you've done. Uh, I was looking at the what was auto completed yeah. here because you have the stone giant's target. Is that? Oh. You don't have the rune giant's target. Oh, targeted. okay. Sorry. So that forty nine. Yeah. Okay, is I still clicked a, the wrong thing. The 49 is still a crit. The 34 is a miss. So you have just one crit. Okay, that's what I thought. I was like, there's no way. All right, cool. All that's right. what I thought. My bad <laughs> for clicking on the wrong thing. I'm she thinking called? about lots of uh, things. So I, Yeah, I'm like, I there's that. no way the 34 <laughs> hit. Oh, what a nice... Oh, a nice round 100 minus then... two. <laughs> so 98 points minus of damage <laughs> to the rune giant. Uh, and it needs to do some saves. It's a fortitude save, succeeds. Fortitude save against the frost, crit succeeds. Uh, and it's in the air, so it cannot be immobilized. But it's still flat footed. Yes. So my next turn and my last move is going to be one tiny plink at the cloud giants this time. One okay. sad little plinky plinky plink. Make sure to target them if you can. 26. No. Uh, 26 <laughs> yeah, is a I miss. Think I did this yeah. time. It is a miss. I've missed them. All right. Shoo. Leave me be. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, Rune Giant. Hmm. It is going to. I won't let you get away. It uh, rumbles in your tune, uh, and it will charge towards uh, rock and gun, um, and that was action one. Action two is going to be to swing. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, to stab at you. Uh, or swing at you with it. This one's the great sword one, right? I don't know. This is the long spear one. I hope I got them. I hope I'm keeping them correct. Uh, that is a 50 foot. Are they still crit. targeting rock? Yep. So this is where things are a little bit awkward. Um, I. Should I took my damage uh, after the fact, but I didn't want to interrupt while you were talking mm -hmm. to say that I used um, my reaction to protect Rock on the attack of opportunity. Ah, okay. Um, and sure, that's fine. That means that this guy would be enfeebled on this swing. But you can see that I've taken 12 damage instead of 32. I, I wanted to get that marker in there to say that I remembered it. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, do, 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 so that would I'm be... Take his crits away. How could Sorry. you? I'm, I'm trying not to make this a, a ret, like to, <laughs> to guard against this is not a retcon, but... Here, I'll use two points. <laughs> I used all my 21. You have to use all nine. <laughs> you don't get to use two it, points. Oh my God. Yeah, that's true too. Oh. If you use nine, I'll... I'll take mm -hmm. a crit. I'll be I'll Okay, fine. <laughs> no. You make I'll, us use all nine. What was, what was my points at? What was my points at? My points was at twenty two. You're at twenty two. Okay. Twenty two. No, I'll just let it be. I'll just let it be a regular hit. That's fine. Uh, all right. It swings. Don't want to waste your points. That would be terrible. Uh, that should be twenty four minus two. Okay. So twenty two um, points of damage. Yeah, I will just take it this time because I really am worried about taking another Glorifex hit too if he rumbles in here. Oh, I'm sure he will. Uh, so we'll, we'll allow Rock to take the full damage from that. Yeah, in the future, I, I do try to remember to tell me because I might have the option of... Uh, I don't have to take the... I'm not... Yeah. That's true. The other option would be to not take the attack. Yes, which sometimes is worth. But... Um, yeah. Or sometimes narratively worth. Uh, okay, so sorry, that's sorry. Did the attack? Were you using a second reaction here or no? On that no, one. No, I'm holding that. Okay. Because I know that Glorifex is still out there and that I can't see him. I don't expect that I can make any further counteract checks with this spell. Like, I tried one and that didn't work. So it's. 
Um, I failed to see through that particular illusion. Yeah, is that how... This was via true seeing? What was this counter yes. check against any illusion or transmutation in the area that was determined to see against it? Yeah, I think it's... It seems to be just once each. Um, yeah. I would allow you to try to seek again to try again. But it'd be a seek action. That's very generous. But yeah, I'm, and I probably will. It is very generous, that. but also illusions are very annoying. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I was gonna say I hate using them, but on my Wednesday game, uh, I play an illusionist. So, <laughs> 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 um, da -da 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 -da. what is this? Sorry, uh, that was flew with one action, struck with second action. Uh, third action, it He's is slow. going he to... Have third. This one is slow. Fuck, you're right. Thank you. All right. No more actions. Good call. Um... All right. Uh, at the end of the round, you notice a gun. You might just catch a glimpse of... Uh, a door swinging open of uh, a large building to the south. You don't see anyone. Hmm. But perhaps something is about to join the battle. And I think that is where we have to call it for the evening at the start of round 10. All right, phase one, oh. mostly done. <laughs> yeah, fights against we'll invisible see. targets are hard to run, and the balance between rules and fun is, yeah, awkward. But uh, wanted to show off a bit more of uh, what blue dragons can do. So, uh, thank you everybody for joining us. Uh, it was a lovely episode. I had fun. I hope you guys had fun. It's pretty scary. A little touch and mm -hmm. go. Rejuvenation is. Uh, regeneration saving some some lives we got some good crits and nice scared to death you know get one of those every day uh that's true <laughs> double crits uh i believe we are back next week and then off the week after so we shall be here the 28th and we are gone on the 5th so I'll see you next time thanks for joining us this is episode 160 of this show <laughs> good night <laughs>